In this training module, you'll learn how to get started in the platform. This includes creating an account, inviting users, general navigation, support resources, and platform settings. Welcome to PropellerU. To use all the features that the platform has to offer, you will first need to create an account. An administrator within your platform must send you an email invitation containing an activation link. Administrators will be designated within your portal by the portal owner. Make sure the at propellerarrow.com domain is added to your email safe list to avoid the emails going to your spam folder. And check your junk mail to ensure that you receive the email. Once you click on the link, you'll be prompted for your name and asked to create a password. If you are the portal owner or have administrative permission, you can manage the permissions of users in the platform either individually or through Teams. Navigate to the People and Teams setting by clicking on your name. The People tab allows you to add or remove people edit the teams that those people belong to, and edit the permissions those people have on your site license. To invite additional people, enter their email address into the email field, then click the Add People button. You'll be presented with a screen allowing you to set the user's teams and permissions. To add the users as an administrator, toggle the administrator switch. Administrators will have full access to everything in the platform and any site within it. Select any teams that you would like the users to belong to. You must first create the team before a user can be added. Select which sites the user should have access to by clicking on the permissions drop down menu next to the site name. The site must be created before you can assign people to it. Once done, click the invite button. This will send the user an email with all the details required to access the platform. The Teams tab allows you to create teams of users with the same permissions. To create a team, enter a team name, then click Create Team. You can give users on a team automatic access to any new site created, give them the ability to create new sites, and select which existing sites they should have access to. Once you've selected the permissions that this team should have, add members to the team. The site and access page is another way to view which people or teams have access to a particular site or to modify permissions for that site. Click on a site to view who currently has access. You can also add, remove, or change any existing users or teams through this page. Now that you've created an account and invited the necessary users, let's learn how to navigate the platform. From your homepage, you can view the location of your sites as pins on the map or a list on the side of the screen. Click on a pin or site name in the list to access the site. The navigation bar provides access to different areas of the platform, such as AeroPoint's dashboard, support, settings, and other useful tools. In this video, we will focus on support and settings. The support button provides several on-demand support resources that are available to you 24-7. The Help Center is an extensive knowledge base consisting of hundreds of articles answering many frequently asked questions. You can find information on the hardware, best practices for your drone flights and ground control, how to upload data, and tips for using the platform. What's New is a section of our knowledge base that highlights platform release notes and what's new with the hardware. Training videos will take you to PropellerU, our online learning management system with on-demand training videos, additional resources, quizzes, and webinars. This is a great starting point for any new user. Contact support will help guide you to relevant knowledge base articles that will help answer any questions you may have or put you in contact with our 24-7 chat support team. The last area that we will cover in this module is your platform settings. Click on your name to access these settings. 
My profile allows you to update basic information like your name, email address, and change your password. Once you have access to sites, you will begin to receive automated email notifications letting you know when new data sets are available. Navigate to your notifications, then use the drop down menu next to each site you have access to in order to opt in or out of these notifications. Buy Accessories will take you to our online store where you can purchase additional error points, replacement parts, and accessories, including additional or replacement batteries and charging hubs, AC adapters and car chargers, propellers, air point stencils and carrying bags, and recommended micro SD cards. The following settings are only available to portal owners or administrators. Clicking on your platform name allows you to update branding details like your platform colors and logo. As discussed earlier in this module, people and teams and sites and access are different ways that you can manage user permissions and teams within your platform. Licenses and usage displays information about how many credits you have consumed and any hardware that is included with your license. In this module, we covered creating an account, inviting users, general navigation, support resources, and platform settings. To learn more about the platform, check out our other training videos, including navigating the platform, using the different measurement tools to analyze your survey, terrain cleanups, and the processing report. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can check out the supporting documentation associated with this module or visit our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.